Cold War. So I know I've talked about why I don't like Cold War before, but uh, well, I'm doing a Black Ops uh list, so yeah, this game is terrible. Like I've never met a person who likes this game. Every time I play this game, I want to kill myself, and th I'm just being honest. All right, the maps are terrible. Their only good maps, in my opinion, is Nuketown and Hijacked, and that's from uh Black Ops Two. So I don't like the guns in this game. Uh, the skill-based matchmaking, uh, you know, why everyone dislikes this game, uh, makes the game too sweaty. Because when I hop on little COD, I'm not trying to go full try-hard mode. If I wanted to do that, I'd play something like Search and Destroy. But like Free For All and Team Deathmatch, I don't think they should have uh, skill-based matchmaking. The zombies, as a person who loves the old zombies, I hated this. I disliked well, the map. I, is Kino, not Kino, Pfft. wow, um, Knock, wait, yeah, no, it's Knock, and, I don't know, I just don't like how the new one looks, The and, what's the other map, the, uh, Firebase Z, or whatever it's called, I wasn't a big fan of that either, it's just, I don't know, I don't think there's gonna be a super good COD for a long time, and yeah, I know this game was made during the pandemic and quarantine and whatever, they had to uh, switch developers, but this, that's not an excuse. All right, I mean, I guess it could be, but this game is boring. I just like it. I don't know anyone who likes this game, so that's why it's on well, number five. If I could put it lower, I would have, like if there was more, but. Black Ops 4, and yeah, I've talked about why I dislike Black Ops 4 before too, but, uh, well, like I said, it's a Black Ops list. And this is my second least favorite Black Ops. Um, so I was super excited for this game. And uh, I pre-ordered it. I stayed up for well till midnight to where I could play it. And I played it all night that night. I played it for a couple weeks. Or not a couple weeks. Well, yeah, a couple weeks. And I, I hate this game so much. I was super excited for the zombies. I hated the zombies. I didn't like anything about it. I disliked how they got rid of all the... Well, most of the perks and replaced them with just, I don't want to say useless, but just not as good perks. Um, or actually, some were better, not better, but some were, there, there are some good perks, but most of them were doo-doo. Uh, the multiplayer, I hate, I, uh, it was a letdown, uh, Blackout. Um, Blackout was not very good. It was all right. It was, it's no Warzone, but, uh. Actually, I'm starting to hate Warzone too, but Black Ops 4 was just a disappointment of a game. They they tried some new stuff, and it didn't work. Um, hopefully, they never try the uh, stim thing again as your health. And I do use stim a lot, like in multiplayer. I don't use them in well the battle royales, but I don't even know what I'm saying. Oh, the stupid stims. I use them. I don't like how that was the only way to heal, but. Yeah, Black Ops 4, disappointing. The newer COD games suck. I mean, Modern no, Modern Warfare was not very good. It was alright. Modern Warfare was just alright. Black Ops 3. So, this game is weird for me. Because I didn't absolutely adore this game. But I didn't. Like, I didn't think it was just an alright game. It was somewhere in the middle for me. It's a, I would say it's a great, I don't know. It's in between love and good. You know what I'm trying to say? You know what I'm trying to say. Um, But yeah, I love the zombies in this. Th kind of. Alright, I kind of love the zombies in this. Because every time, like solo, fine. But every time I play with uh, my buddy, this man always somehow gets us cornered. And it doesn't matter the map. It could be the, uh, okay, I'm not even going to try to say its name. The castle map with the dragons. Uh, one of the easiest maps to, you know, get the bows and stuff. I've gotten to around, like, 160 with one of my friends. But this one dude, every time we play, he gets us cornered. And I don't know how he does it. Because I'll purposely avoid corners with this dude. But he, every time, he somehow gets... Because we'll both be training in opposite areas of the map. And he'll somehow get... The, I don't know. I don't know how he does it. He's bad luck. And he's not even bad at zombies. He's actually really good. But he sucks at Black Ops uh, 3. Alright, but whatever, that's that side. Uh the multiplayer was good. You know, the uh 
crates, the boxes that you had to pay for, or you didn't have to pay for, were, see, it's, it's a thing, because the first time I ever opened a crate, or not the first time, but I, my one buddy tried so hard to get the stupid NX Shadow Claws for so long, and then I got it first crate, so, they're luck. I, every time I opened a crate, got super lucky, every single time. Like, I, I think I've had, like, three bad crates on Black Ops 3. But the same buddy who always gets us killed in zombies always got bad crates. Um, I never played the campaign of this, um, but so I can't say if the campaign was good or not. But Black Ops 3 was a solid game for me. Black Ops 2. And yes, I know the picture looks like a crab thing. I didn't know how. Like, I tried so many different ways to draw it and have his body in it. But if you look at the art, like the cover for the game, he doesn't have a body. So I don't know how I'm supposed to draw something that's not there. So he just looks like a crab. Or a robot, I guess. Like one of those flying... Whatever. Okay. Black Ops 2. So, for me, it's number 2. Because I like Black Ops 1 more. But I'll talk about that in a second. This game, obviously, who doesn't like the zombies? Black Ops 2, I think, is the first game that I ever stayed up all night playing the zombies. And then, well, I just stayed up all night. I think this was the very first game I ever did that to. I'm like 90% sure. But, uh, come on. It's Black Ops 2. It had Mob of the Dead, which has got to be top three favorite zombies map for me. Transit. So I know a lot of people dislike Transit, like a lot. But I have so many good memories playing Stupid Transit with my friends. Staying up to like 4 in the morning playing it. So, yeah. The multiplayer. Come on. It, this is obviously one of the best multiplayers. It's amazing. The guns were amazing. I'm probably just looking back on it with nostalgia. Honestly, this game... No, actually, that's not even true. Because I played it recently and it was super fun. Um, but it's super hard to play now. Because everyone hacks. Because they're j it's so easy to do. Um, but w 1v1ing on Nuketown... It's just that every time I think of Black Ops 2, I think of a great, like, just good memories. The campaign was a, you know, it continued the story from Black Ops 1. It was good. Just this is all around just an insanely good game. Black Ops 1. And I know I've talked about Black Ops 1 before, but I love this stupid game so much. I don't even 100% know why I love playing this game so much. But if I lose internet, which happens like twice a month, I'm hopping on this game to play the campaign. Or zombies. Because I don't even know what it is. I just love this game so much. Kino's my favorite map of all time. Um, five. Five is challenging. The wonder, or the wonder waff. The wonder weapon isn't good. Um, so I don't know. It's just, there's something about this game that every time just keeps bringing me back to it. When I do have uh, internet and I decide to play. The multiplayer is always fun. Um, yeah, like I said, the campaign is solid. Super fun. And I don't even know what's like about this game that I love this game that much. That I, I think I, I played like two weeks ago. And I don't even know. I just love this stupid game. 